The mission of Hawaii's Department of Human Services is to support the well being of individuals, families, and communities with support programs that foster self sufficiency. Shepherding people into support services takes communication. People apply for programs and benefits, DHS processes them. Demand for these services from the community is a good thing. It signals the value people found in the programs. But like any system, spikes in demand can create bottlenecks like longer callback waits and longer processing time. To address this, the Department of Human Services adopted Google Cloud Contact Center AI. Here with us to discuss is systems analyst, Ethan Chow. Let's dive a little deeper on the tech side. We'll start with Contact Center AI Platform, or CCAIP, which controls how calls are connected. Call routing is managed through queues. And here we have several set up. The dialog flow queue connects callers to our virtual agent, which is where they're immediately sent when dialing in. You'll see a few queues with a tier number. These correspond with our tiered support system, where callers start at a low tier and are escalated to higher tiers as necessary. So these queues route callers to those tiered agents. There's a voicemail queue to allow folks to leave voicemails. And we also have this queue down here, which transfers callers out to a third party line from within the virtual agent. Next up is our CRM integration. We've configured CCAIP to work with ServiceNow, the system we use to record customer interactions. As soon as someone calls, we create a record in ServiceNow to start logging their conversation with the virtual agent. Then, when the customer gets transferred to a human agent, CCAIP automatically opens that ServiceNow record on the agent's screen, allowing them to see information about the caller. It also updates the record with additional metadata once the call is over. Here, we've set the URL template used to automatically open the appropriate record on screen. In each of these endpoint configurations, we use a GCP cloud function as a middle layer between CCAIP and ServiceNow. This allows us to add additional logic or functionality. Here's an example of one endpoint config, the upload a file endpoint. This endpoint uploads call transcripts, voicemail recordings, and session metadata to the ServiceNow record. Finally, let's look at Dialogflow, where we built the virtual agent that interacts with callers. We've built out a number of flows dedicated to frequently asked questions or topics. Each flow has various pages that provide the information they would need. For example, if someone calls in about an interview, they'll enter this interview flow. And here, we'll provide them with information about if and or when their interview is scheduled. For example, in this page, we tell the caller that they do not have an interview scheduled. To do this, we need to retrieve information from a backend Java server that can access a bunch of information about these cases. Again, we used cloud functions as a middle layer to communicate with the Java backend. With Contact Center AI Platform, Hawaii's Department of Human Services was better able to support their citizens, increasing the number of cases they could handle while reducing wait and processing times. They were also able to prioritize interactions appropriately and make each engagement relevant to the citizen. To learn how you can integrate Contact Center AI into your customer experience, check out the links in the description below.